Hello and welcome to another Your Partnerships Meets or Fitness Fellowship is what we are today. Mm. So uh, Heidi, it's really great. to see, It's always great to see you. Happy New Year, all that good stuff. Happy New Year to you too, Brock. So tell us a little bit about fellowship, it, Fitness Fellowship. I about to say it backwards. I knew I was. <laughs> yeah, Fitness Fellowship. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so um, last year mm. um, in Cornwall, we ran the Health and Wellness Event Series um, we had three amazing events. Yeah, really good events. Um, and that included people across the health and wellness industry, you know, both um, the nutrition side, mm. um, you know, therapy side, the uh, physical fitness side. Yeah. And that opportunity... That was, that was run by our captain. Though, <laughs> <laughs> captain Heidi running the ship. <laughs> and um, it was really good, an opportunity for people to get together, to collaborate and have that chat yes. um, about you know, stuff that's happening in the health and wellness, not just for our business, but for our own sort of personal health and well-being. So and people really enjoyed that uh, discussion panel you did as well. So that was Yes, they yeah, did. Yeah. So the fitness and fellowship idea is taking that approach, mm. but with more of an informal kind of social focus. Um, so we are running um, the first event on the 23rd, February, February the 23rd, yep. uh, in the morning, 9 till 12, mm -hmm. at Roach Social Club. Yep. And it's going to be led by myself, and we've got two activities. And you have you have a very important person on tea and coffee that day as well. Oh, yes. I've been it was told, so good I've last been told, time, get back Brock. in that kitchen, make the tea and coffee. So <laughs> I know my place, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yeah, so there will be refreshments. Mm. Um, the idea of it is, though, is um, the first activity we're going to do is um, kind of a non-physical activity, and it's a self um, care check-in mm. and empowerment. It gives us a chance to really look um, at our kind of emotional well-being um, I mean, I'm going to be honest, and you know that before Christmas, um, towards the end of October, yep. uh, my own emotional being, I was not in a good place. Um, so the the strategy, the approach that I used um, to to kind of deal with that and be in a better place now, yes. better headspace is um, what we're going to be doing. Yep. And all I'm giving away is it involves a dustbin and a teapot. And it, this this one's not the teapot I'll be using. It's a different teapot. It's a different one. <laughs> a bit larger size. Yes, yes. <laughs> and then the idea of that is it gives you food for thought moving mm -hmm. forwards. And then we are going to experience the ship shape dance fitness um, class yes. session. And it's not going to be a full-blown hour class. It's going to be a 30 to 40-minute workshop. Yep. So that's what we're going to do in February. So for a Somebody that's never experienced it before, there's a discussion time and going around, you know, how we take care of ourselves uh, in our mental space and, and, and start talking about the physical side and how everything links together. And then for the for the physical fitness bit on this particular one, the 23rd, uh, it's more of a low, I'd say more of a low impact. Is, is that correct? It is. Impressive. And it's given people the opportunity to think, oh, you know, I can participate in this and it's fun mm. and it makes me feel good and uplifted by the joy and the variety of the music yep. and not thinking you have to be into dance fitness no, I was gonna, to I was do about, it. Exactly. I was, I was kind of kind of butting and say that because what I mean like me you know I've, I've never been uh classes like that or anything but but you can do it at whatever pace or how much you want to do how little you want to do, how as or or you know if you want to go for it go for all of it <laughs> and I think what's really interesting from from doing it last year is other sports and we've had this conversation mm. trying to break stereotypes of thinking oh well runners couldn't be interested in doing it or you know football teams rugby teams and you know the feedback I've had not just from women but men as well everybody um has been really like positive like yes. the type of workout you get it's all round body it's fun it's great coordination so you'll just have to come along to that one on oh, February the 23rd 100, 100. well I'll be there because I'll be in the kitchen <laughs> um so yeah that's our first session yes. and then we've got one coming up on the 15th of May yes. and that's going to be at the Victoria Inn in Roach just mm -hmm. down the road and that's going to be a focus on um a debate style so I guess why we're doing the chat today as well is because we want to 
give a shout out um, to people in the health and wellness um, industry or just have a personal passion for health and mm. wellness and, you know, want to get involved with maybe doing a talk, maybe part of the discussion. Um, just please, please get in touch with me and let's see how we can you know, work this into the program this yeah, year. Yeah, so if, you, if you're out there and, and, and this is your field, uh, please get a hold of Heidi or myself and, and we'll talk about, you know, how you can get involved, uh, what type of activities that, that we could, or I should say, what t- how we can put you into the program. I don't want to say yeah. activities, yeah. Because so, we've yeah. also got one coming up on the 15th of July mm-hmm. and we're hoping to have more of an outdoor kind of focus and, you know, a, a location that is by the coast. Yep. And in November, uh, we are hoping to do something that is Men's Mental Health Awareness Month. And so we want to really try. It's going to be inclusive for everybody, but yep. with that focus sure. um, and hopefully getting, you know, Man Down Charity involved and, as well. And others like that. And others there like that. Other, yes. There are other, other flavors available. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But no, it's all good. And last time we did that, um, you know, that that went down very well as well. So, uh, yeah, it's been it's been amazing everything that you have done, Hadi. And actually, while we're talking about it as well, just to add into that, it's uh, we also have health and wellness events happening in Plymouth, and and we're going to be looking at excerpts again soon as well. So it'll be good to have the entire community there where people can go around and, and find all the different tools uh and people will be doing different you know people have different ideas and they'll be they'll be doing different things with it as well but i mean what you do is amazing so i really appreciate everything you've done i think like you say it's um it's kind of building on that agenda Mm. um building that network community um making those connections having those valuable discussions and you know through yp what we've learned so far is the experience, the passion, the desire, the want to make change and help other people mm. um, from, from various um, corners has been incredible. I yeah. mean, you know, there's so many wonderful people. I well, mean, it, it is its own community, isn't it? It it's is, really weird, yeah. yeah but it's, it's dysfunctional families, I normally say. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, you know, the, the, the wealth of people, I mean, I've mm. got a list here of the people we had oh, last yes. year for, yep. for for the health and wellness events in Cornwall. We had Laura Jessica Walker, Daisy Taylor, Jessica Vella Templeton, Louise Abel, Helen Fisher, Adam Pearson, Dad Stevens, Faye Edwards, um, Jane McCourt, Debbie Routley, you know, a whole wealth from different arenas of health exactly. and wellness. All, all of them with different different uh, expertise. Because, exactly. Because, yeah, I mean, everything from from mental to, um, to uh, we got hypno- hypnotherapists in there who made me walk on the beach. I'll get you that for that, Daisy. That's a personal note. She knows, she knows I don't like the beach. She had me mentally walking on the beach. But anyway, I'll, I'll get over well, it. I'll get over it. We'll have to if we I'll do the event it. on the 15th of July. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. But no, uh, yeah, but it, 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 it was a lovely, lovely series last year. And looking forward to this year as well. So 23rd of February is the first one. Yeah, so, then yeah. 15th of May is the second. That's right. 15th of July is the third. And, then, and 14th of November, I'll hopefully. Go, I'm glad the, you had your card because I can't remember what day in November either. <laughs> But no, it's, and, and you know, if you've got ideas about this as well, Heidi's not a closed shop. I mean, she'll listen to any, anything you've got to talk about or anything, any thoughts you have on that. So we'll just do it. Just make it happen. I mean, you might, it might be something creative like you, you have a particular way where people can, I don't know, I'm making up stuff here, but where they work on uh, clay arts or something that helps with, you know, it could be anything. So yeah, absolutely. Please. And I think like you say, it's really important that we have those conversations because mm. in business, you know, we're running our businesses are very personal to us. So of course the emotional well-being side's connected to it. And life is really challenging now. And in order to keep going, be the best version of ourselves, we need to connect. We need to be honest with ourselves. We need to not be afraid to reach out if you are finding things challenging and tough and not worry about the consequences of how that looks to me as a person, my business reputation, because it you need to in order to to survive and thrive and, and mm. move forward. So, you know, it's it's important we have these events so people have the opportunity to connect, you know, build that toolkit of resources, connections, have those discussions so you realise you're not the only one in the room That's right. with, you know, different challenges maybe of a similar nature. Exactly, 100%. Well, thank you for coming out today. Thank you for Corker Media for having us today. 
we got Jay Jay behind the deck, so we know everything's <laughs> good. So yeah, we love Jay, don't we? We do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, Shane, Shane and uh, Spinks are on the road, so safe travels to them. Uh, especially in this cold, it's very it's cold. Getting right it's getting ice. It's cold as ice. It is. It is. <laughs> but no, thank you for everything. To, and thank the, the list of people you read out. They helped us last year. Uh, if you want to get involved in this year, get hold of Heidi. Uh, get hold of me. Which all I'm going to do is get you in hold of Heidi. Uh, but it's uh, yeah. Thank you for all that you've done, and thank you for everything everyone's done. So uh, let's just keep helping each other out. That's the exactly. best way to put it. We'll see you soon, 23rd of February, if not 23rd before. 23rd of February. All right. Take care. Bye bye.